Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm going to be going over how to do picture in picture manipulation. This was actually a comment on one of my videos, someone asking how to do this, and I thought it was a pretty interesting problem. So that's what we're going to be going over today. So our issue lies with the fact that we have a picture in picture here, and we want to create a zoom or an, another transform property on this video. What happens when we try to zoom this video? Well, this happens. What we have is the video itself actually zooms in. And so instead of us zooming in on like the rock here and this staying in place, what we get is we get the entire video gets larger. And of course that doesn't look good. That's not what we were trying to accomplish. If we try to rotate it, things like that, it happens exactly the same way. So what we wanna do is we want to manipulate this here. So first off to get this set up, all we have is these two pieces of stock footage that I got off of Envato Elements. A lot of great stock footage on there. Check the link in the description if that's something that interests you. We've put them onto the sequence, one in the background, one in the top layer, bottom layer is right here, top layer is right up here. What we wanna do is we wanna be able to manipulate this top layer. So to do that, we're going to right click, go to nest, and then we can name this something like a picture in picture layer. And now what we have is we have the ability to control both the, the video itself and then the container of the video itself. So if we double click on this, we need to reset this back to the large version. We don't want it to be small in here. We want it to be a video in of itself. So if we go over into the position, so if we click on this, we go into position, scale, and we click those buttons, it'll default it back, it'll reset the parameter back to its original state. And then if we go here, we now have it as well in its original large state. So we're going to take the scale of the nested layer, and we're gonna actually drop that down, maybe somewhere around uh, let's see, maybe around like 36 right there. And then we're gonna take the position and we're gonna move it somewhere. We'll just move it back where it was before. So we'll move it like right like that. And then we'll go ahead and go to the top like so. And now let's do our zoom. So we don't wanna zoom this. If we scale this up again, it's gonna be the exact same problem we had before. So what we do is we jump into our nested layer and we actually perform a zoom here. So if we, for example, turn on the scale, we move forward and then we bring the scale up, let's say there. Uh, let's jump back to this first one. We can also do a position, jump back to the end one over here, and let's, like we said, we're gonna zoom in on the rock here. So now what we have is we have this sort of uh, fake camera movement where it looks like, because the camera is rotating in space and we've put the zoom, it kind of looks like it's flying inwards or it's, or it's examining something up here, but we've actually created a little animation. Now, when we go back here, when we play it back, that zoom will happen, but it will stay within its box. And now what we have the ability to do is we have the ability to change both the video itself and the container of the video. So the nested layer is the container, and then the video is the thing inside the container. And that's a, a great little organizational tip for you in Premiere Pro. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos, send me this one. Go to that subscribe button. I make a video every other day, or at least I try to. Uh, and until next time, guys, see ya.